Some British people in Colorado Springs tried to spend their day closer to home following the somber news of Queen Elizabeth. Some found themselves seated at the bar of the Great British Food Company. Cardio News Channel 13's Mallory Anderson joins us live from the newsroom after stopping by the pub. Mallory. Those I spoke with today said the mood inside the pub could be categorized as reflective. Many who stopped by spent time discussing the incredible reign of the queen and how she maintained that position with dignity for seven decades. As a somber memorial grew outside of Buckingham Palace Thursday, Southern Coloradans gathered at the Great British Food Company. Though they were thousands of miles away, they were still reflecting on the impact of Queen Elizabeth's passing. I wouldn't say sadness, but a, a sense of nostalgia about the passing of uh, what is an incredible era, really. Nick Davy is originally from England, but has spent the last 16 years in Colorado Springs. He says he always admired how the Queen embraced change and led with grace. You have to respect, I think, the dignity with which she conducted herself in, as, a, as the monarch for all those years um, through difficult times. And I think, you know, people are just sort of celebrating rather than commiserating at the moment because, you know, she, she, she ran a great uh, office there. God save As the United Kingdom prepares to usher in a new ruler for the first time in 70 years, Nick is now holding on even tighter to a special family relic that was recently passed down. This was sent by Her Majesty the Queen. There is the royal crest. There is her signature. There are my parents' names at the bottom. And this uh, was sent to them on their diamond wedding anniversary. So as 60 years of married life, the Queen respects that by sending a card to anybody who reaches that landmark occasion. So there we have it, the card from the Queen to my parents. Nick is actually a musician who performs at the Great British Food Company regularly. He says he'll be playing one of his famous fully British sets tomorrow night if you're interested in embracing some English culture during this historic time. Reporting live in the newsroom, Mallory Anderson, Carrie News Channel 13. I imagine he will have a crowd. Mallory, thanks.